intend to use the good morning. Today I intend to use the long foam roller with very little emphasis, with very little emphasis on um, a ton of uh, myofascial releasey kind of stretchy stuff. I'll include stuff, but not a ton of that. I want to do basically a traditional Pilates class on the reformer. So my emphasis is more coming from, rooted from, Pilates. So having a foam roller nearby, as you know, I like to have it on the side for the side bending stretch. Oh, Svetlana, hi! Show me some love, wave, or a hello, or a heart, or take class. It's going to be about 35 minutes and we'll be using the foam roller. All right, let's begin. Sitting up nice and tall, take a moment to assess your neck. Any tension, let it go. Breathing in, inflate. As you're exhaling, close down through the rib cage. Each time you inhale, inflate. And when exhaling, feel your ribs closing down. And we'll do one more. Inhale. And as you exhale, so with arms. Inhale, arms come halfway. As you exhale, lower your arms. Notice the neck. Inhale, arms all the way up. Lace your fingers. Exhale, stretch. Stay and breathe in. And as you exhale, fingers release. Now your hand or wrist is gonna land on the roller. Even if you're not using the roller, you can do this side bending stretch. Return, and we'll do it four times all together. Come with me, lift and bend. Use the roller for a little support and allow the roller to roll away. Using the breath, inhale. Hello viewers, thank you for joining me. This is our third stretch, and on this one, number four, get ready to rotate. As I come over, I'm turning. Place both of your hands on the roller. Give it a little push and pull. A little push and pull. Try to keep your head down and do it twice more. Push, and one more. Push, and then face the camera. Return upright and bring the roller to the other side. Set yourself up so that it's beside you and you bend sideways. Return to your upright position. We begin again. Use the breathing. Take your time. Roll and then return. Make sure your butt bones stay nice and heavy on the floor. So don't tilt like, a, like the leaning tower of Pisa. And then return. This is the one. I'm bending sideways, and then when I rotate, try to square off, adjust the roller if necessary, push, pull. Again, push, pull. And now, keeping your head down. Push, pull, push. All right, let go of the roller and return upright. Bring the roller in front of you. Even if you're using the short roller, maybe that would be your substitute, we're going to push it forward, but dive your head down. Sinking your head down, pushing the roller forward. Keep going, 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 going as best you can. Now stay down, but using your shoulders and arms, push the roller farther away and return. Push the roller farther away, return. This might be like shrug your shoulders, unshrug. Shrug your shoulders, unshrug. This time, unshrug and come back slowly, stacking your vertebrae, each vertebrae, one stacking on top of the other until your head is the last thing to arrive. Nicely done. Matthew, hello, send me a wave. This next exercise is going to be roll down and roll up, and I kind of want the roller to be on the end where my head will be. Let me just change this camera angle and roll down, roll up begins back a little bit. All right, the roller is at the end, but I am on the opposite end with my knees bent and feet flat. I still don't like this angle. All right, I'm a little finicky today, aren't I? All right, here we go. Inhale. Start with a deep abdominal contraction. If you've never done this before, hold on to your thighs and no crash landing. Arms reach, reach, reach. Have a moment. Just feel it. Oh. Inhaling, raise your arms and roll up, and if necessary, 
grab your thighs. Now, we will be using the roller, so I hope it's back there behind your head. Let's do one more. Inhale, rolling up. So this is Pilates roll down, roll up. This time, when I roll back very slowly, I am going to find my roller back here, grab it, and hold on to the ends ideally. This is kind of wide for me, but I can do it. Ready, roll up, and arrive sitting up as straight as you can. Come back slowly, one vertebrae, one vertebrae, one vertebrae, one vertebrae, and literally take your time rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Now I'm still doing this with my knees bent. If you're ready to straighten your legs, go right ahead and straighten those legs. I will in a moment. Inhale, roll up, sit up straight, sit straight up and stretch out those legs. Inhale, come back, scoop in, hollow your abdominals, make your way back softly. Last one. On the exhale, rolling up, and this time reach over your legs. Stay low and go, go, go. Come on back. Come halfway, maintain this reclined or recumbent position, and turn to face me. Whether you have a roller or not, you know, you can do this, do this with your arms, all right? Other side, rolling up. Inhale through the center. Once again, rotate. And inhale through the center, and last time, rotate. Come to center backwards slowly. Keep your legs heavily activated. Here's inhale. Roll again over your legs. Have a moment where you're reaching way past your feet. Come back with your head low. Come halfway. Stop halfway. Turn away from me as you exhale. Rotate. Inhale through the center, and again, as you exhale, rotate. Inhale through center. Last time, exhale. Come to center and make your way back. One vertebrae, one vertebrae, one vertebrae. Here we are, rolling up, roll up, and lift one leg. And just keep it bent knee. Inhale. Come back slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Now listen, leave the leg there. Roll up, lift the other leg. And both knees present. You can put your foam roller right on your shin. Your job, don't lose the roller. So I strongly recommend don't close your legs. Keep some width. Also, flex your ankles. You can catch the roller if it goes too far. Rolling backward, nod your chin. One vertebrae, one vertebrae, one vertebrae. Keep moving, inhale, steady legs, go. Ooh, two more. As you exhale, nod your chin, try to stay very focused, inhale, blow, go. What? One more, scoop those abdominals in, make your way back, babysit that roller. As you exhale, and you know what's coming up next? The Pilates exercise, the 100. That's a five count inhale, five count exhale, repeating 10 times. I'll do the counting, you do the breathing. Come on back, ribs on the floor. Do not put your head down. Pump arms, inhale, three, four, five, exhale, three, four, five, inhale, three, four, five, exhale, three, four, five, three, three, four, five, four, Five, two, three, four, five, tighten those abdominals. Six, two, three, four, five, keeping arms straight. Seven, two, three, four, five, pull those abs in. Eight, two, three, four, five, send the legs away. Eight, two, three, four, five. Nine, two, three, four, five. Ten, two, three, four, five, exhale. Three, four, five, rest. Woohoo! Ugh, why is that so hard? Well, it's meant to be hard. The name of the exercise is called the 100. Place the foam roller, if possible, behind your calves. Lock it down. Flex your ankles, lower the legs, tap your heels on the floor, wait for your legs to return. 
In this exercise, my thighs are open, but if you want to close your thighs, that's perfectly acceptable. The spine is in neutral, which means that the bones don't move at all, and natural curve at my low back. My knees come to vertical. They don't come all the way back to my chest. Using exhale, keeping my spine in neutral. My seasoned veterans out there are doing this with their arms, so that arms go opposite the legs. Inhale, reach out. As you exhale, process all that information again. Avoid buckling your back off the mat. Maintain, maintain control of your neutral spine. Here is inhale, tap, exhale. Compress the abdominal muscles not the spine. As you exhale, oof. And we will do just one more. Inhale, exhale. So with some finesse, lower the roller to the floor and then rock your butt up, wedge the roller behind your pelvis. What? Oof. Rock the pelvis up and wedge the roller behind your pelvis and let the pelvis rest. Okay, I found an optimal spot. Straighten the legs, flex your ankles, and I'm Mary Poppins. Knees bending, legs straightening. I am maintaining flexed ankles. I am stretching my legs away. But eventually, my legs are slowly going a tiny bit lower, and then just a tiny bit lower, and each time I straighten, oh, a little lower, oh. Zip the inner thighs and pull up through the pelvic floor. Zip it up. You're going to feel a mild contraction deep at the base of your, at the buttocks. Deep at the base of your buttocks. And this time, I will straighten my legs to begin. Knees bend. Feet separate. Push forward to close. This should replicate the movement of frog kicks. If you were swimming underwater, this is your audition for the next Esther Williams underwater swimming extravaganza. Smooth and fluid people, open and close. Inhale, open, close. Two more, come on. One more, and when you close, straight legs up. Now you can pull the legs back over your face. Now be vigilant, the foam roller sometimes will pop out. So be sure it's secure. Holding the legs closer and closer toward your face. Get the stretch in the back of the legs for the next exercise. Split leg number two far and away. Again, stay for the stretch. Now the stretch is in the front of the low leg. Take your time and feel it. If your legs are much longer than mine, it's likely that your heels hit the floor. I have shorter legs and really tight hip flexors, so my heel won't touch the floor. <laughs> so you should know that it's okay for your heel to be on the floor, but mine won't go. Stay for the stretch. Oh, slow, mo, change, legs. Again. My hip flexors are so tight. This would be a nice hip flexor stretch for me. And my heel is down about as low as it can go. But I'm ready for the next exercise. Switch, catch, pull. Switch, catch, pull. Switch, catch, pull. So you got low leg and high leg. How about it? Six more, five more, four more, three more. Two, and you can hug your knees into your chest, come off of the roller, put it aside. Then, lifting your head in the highest position, here's what you could do with the roller. Those of you with sensitive neck, that roller could support your head and neck. Make sure that it's supporting for a moment. Here is single leg stretch. We'll be doing four exercises back to back. So start with your head, fairly comfortable, and get this leg choreography. We go reach and reach and reach. Continue now. Heads up, 
Do the best you can to use your abdominals and try not to rely on the roller, although it's there for you if you need it. Here is four more, three more. Hands behind my head. What could I do? Twist, twist. Now double it up. I'll come to you. Two, two, other side. One, two, other side. Take your head with you, and remember, don't bang your elbow on the knee. Don't bang your elbow on the knee. Four more. Three more. Come on. Two, two, and last one, one. I've got hands on shins. I know your head is really heavy, right? So why don't you put it down for a moment? But my arms and legs are non-stop. This exercise is called double leg stretch. Reach. I'm ready to lift my big head. I'm going to lift now. Continue with your head in the highest position. Reach. Point your feet. Two more. Last one. Oh. I think that's plenty. We did scissors already, so we're good. Now, you've got the advantage of your head up already. You can put your hands behind your thigh or the shin, rolling like a ball. Let's do four. Give it a kick. One. And then be careful. Two. Three. Last one. When you arrive, test your balance with one leg. Straight. Return. Leg number two. Straight. Return. Ready? Both legs. Now, my legs are closed, but I'm going to open and close. How wide? About as wide as the mat. Open, close. And try to manage a little more lift. What? Lift. Don't fall. Last one. Stay right there. Arms overhead. Arms wide. Arms front. And lower your legs down. Very nice. You can scoot back just enough that your heels are on the mat and bring the roller just a little bit closer to you. How close? About two, three inches away from your rear end. Your fingers and your thumbs are closed when you put your palms on the roller. Now, just as a fair warning, the foam roller is very unstable. If you've ever had a broken wrist, this is not an exercise you want to do on the roller. You put your hands on the floor. Please close your legs and make the letter V with your feet. Get ready to turn on your arms and turn your butt on. Inhale. On your exhale, oh, it's not that hard. So you're probably sitting in a hammock right now, but I'd like to see some extra power at your butt. Inhale. Come down, elbows bending, oh, 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 soften your landing, come forward and stretch. Now, we're just going to do that same exercise one more time so you can perfect it, polish it up a little bit. Inhale. On my exhale, my arms initially lift my body, then my butt lifts my hips. Wow. Inhale. And as you exhale, then do the best you can. I want to repeat the exercise and then remember, do not throw your head backwards. That could upset your balance and then you could fall down. So don't do that. Same exercise, probably much better than the first one. Remember, don't throw your head back. Inhale. On your exhale, arms. Then turn on your gluteus maximus. Lift, 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 lift. Don't throw your head back. Stay for another moment. This time, inhale, and come down slowly and bend your elbows. All right, that's enough. Come forward and stretch. Remember the stretch is not just legs, but primarily shoulder blades. Forward, stretch. Yes, I'll leave the roller where it is and turn now face down. Oh, it's Ben, hey Ben, show me some love. How about a wave or a heart? In this next exercise, my forearms will be on the foam roller. And I like the foam roller to be on the floor. So here's a quick fold of my mat, 
And now, my knees are on the mat, my forearms will be on the roller. My foam roller is a little old, as, as I am I, and we're going to push the roller back and forth. It takes a little effort sometimes. Feel the shoulders shrug and unshrug. Do this with me two more times, and then lock it back. <laughs> like your shoulders are on lockdown. Straighten one leg. Remember, it's supposed to be straight. And then avoid looking around at me. Pull your abdominals in and raise the opposite arm forward. You could roll the roller back and forth again, testing your stabilization and refine your alignments. Alignments. I'm reaching back to grab that high foot, lift the knee, thigh, chest, face. Lift. And then come on down. Return to your best all fours. Leg number two. Stretch that leg away with integrity. This should not be a wobbly tree branch of a leg. Stretch and tighten your buttocks, the opposite arm. My seasoned veterans out there, no foot, no foot on the floor. Roller, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. Take your time, take your time, and pull your abdominals in. Pause so you can reach back, grab your foot, then raise the thigh and your face. Lift. Woo! Come on down. I suggest you open the knees nice and wide. Use the roller, push it away. Sink your head down as low as you can go and still remain comfortable. Avoid mashing your face into the floor. You can practice shoulder shrug and unshrug here again, pushing the roller, pulling the roller with your shoulders, not your hands. Shoulder shrug and unshrug. Pull back, push forward. Pull back, push forward. Now, whoo, come back to seated. Nicely done. This next exercise, I need my mat flat, 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 and Lying face down once more for spine extension. Lie flat on the stomach and place your forearms over the roller. Forearms over the roller. Now, your choices are to keep the feet open so that your toe might be caressing the edge of the mat. Ooh. Or close your leg. Mm -hmm. Clench your buttocks. I'm going to do the closed legs version today. Push and pull. So the roller is pushed forward and then pulled backward. Push, thumbs down. Pull, palms up. Now every time you repeat, improve. These tiny little details are so important. Keep your butt turned on. Keep your arms long. Keep in motion. Inhale, exhale. Avoid arriving on the back of your hands. Avoid. Inhale. Stay along the forearms. You'll suddenly realize, wow, that you may be coming up a little higher. As you exhale, all right. Two more. Pull. Remember to keep your neck nice and long. Last one here. Check yourself. Mm. Are your butt muscles turned on? Is your spine extending? Is your head free and loose? Are you on your forearms? Inhale a little higher. And as you exhale, come on down. Oh. I am going to do a very detail-oriented thigh stretch. This foam roller is underneath one thigh, not both. Ooh, 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 ooh. One thigh. This is the thigh I want to stretch. Find your foot. You may have to um, recruit a friend. <laughs> have your friend bring your foot. Oh, this is too high for me. Okay. All right. Now, oh, my leg is elevated. My head is down. Oh. Hold on. Mm. Oh. Hold on to the ankle and go for the thigh stretch. 
Now, if you're really tight like me, this roller needs to be closer to my knee. But if you're a little more flexible, like Michael, your foam roller might be closer to the top of your thigh. In either case, keep your butt heavy. So push down on the pelvis as if someone were trying to sit on your butt. Are you breathing? Because looking at me won't help. Breathe. I got one more. Give it a little surge of energy. Oh, yeah. Right, let go. I have to move the whole roller to the other leg. Uh, let me just complain about that. All right, roll it on the floor. Other leg, thigh. I have to crawl forward to get optimal. All right, I'm feeling it. Hold on. Rest your face. Turn your arm on. Turn your butt on. And roll some of your body weight onto that leg. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> At the risk of sounding like a bad porno movie, keep breathing, but keep it to yourself. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Breathe. All right, one more surge of energy. Breathe with it. Mm. All right, and then let it go. Now, no foam roller. Just move it aside, not too far. And then organize yourself in the center. I'm going to reach back and grab ankle number one, and then I have to find ankle number two. And here again, you might need a friend to help you. Lift your head and chest, and then also try to lift your thigh, which I cannot, but I'm going to try. Kick your feet away. Kick. And do it again. Kick. One more. Kick. Ah. Come on down. Oh, my feet so hard. Palms down. Knees bent. Push up. Sit back. Those are very cool exercises. I'm glad to get those done and out of the way. So important to make the spine mobile. In the next session, we will be using the foam roller for just a little bit of a hip stretch. Uh, which hip am I on? Uh, it means I'm going to be on this hip. I'll face the camera, and this is the myofascia hip stretching that I'm doing right now. Okay, oh, okay, oh, say hi. Oof. So I've got most of my weight, my hip weight, on the roller. My back foot is behind me. The foot is grounded, as is the elbow, and the leg is the motor that's pushing me back and forth. You are rolling, I'll describe this as north-south. What you want to know about directions is that it should be easy for me to tell you now. You can roll oh, forward and back, which in this case would be like east-west. So I am rolling back a tiny bit. I'm at the base of my buttocks. And when I roll a little bit forward, I might need to move my supporting leg. I might need to move my supporting leg. And I'm rolling a little more forward, east-west, as I continue north-south. Ah, ah. Go for full range of motion if you can. So I am all the way to the tops of my hippy hip bones, Ooh, all the way down to the kneecap. One. And as I go back a little bit, I'm going to change my supporting foot. And now, ooh, I'm on the base of my butt, <laughs> at the tops of my hamstrings. Oh, ooh, oh, 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 oh. Now, pause. Bend that supporting knee and straighten that supporting leg a few times. That muscle contraction should be like, the lights turn on. Oh. So bend it a few times and straighten it a few times while slow motion, I know, it's like juggling batons. You also have to roll north-south. Oh, what? Yeah, and if you're not feeling it, then you're not doing it right, okay? So forward and back with a little bend, holy mackerel, and a straightening of that bottom leg. A little bend and a little straightening of the bottom leg. 
I can't tolerate anymore, <laughs> so I have to come off. I'm gonna sit up, and I'll bring my roller to the other side, shimmy shimmy on down, and then we started on the hip with the forearm. What? <laughs> Moving east-west, yes. <laughs> my grounded foot, foot, is the, the force that's pushing me back and forth. <laughs> May the force be with you. So I am, whoa, whoa, we are going north-south, right? Which is the direction of the roller. But your body can go east-west. So I am slightly forward, but I prefer to be slightly back. So the bulk of my butt cheek, ooh, <laughs> is getting a little massage. <laughs> Do what you can, whoa, ooh. Ah, all right? Now when I roll a little more forward, I'm changing my supporting leg so that a little bit more of my thigh, the bulk of my thigh, is getting the benefit of the massage. Oof. I'm all the way down to my kneecap, whoa, and all the way up to my hippie hip bone, mm, and trying to get as much out of this position as I can. Maximize your efforts. Mm. So we got this whole north-south, north-south, and a little bit of east-west, which is to go backward and to go forward. I'm gonna stay in this forward position, but I need my leg behind me. Uh, okay, so then I'm in the backward position. Oh my butt, oh my butt. Your gluteus maximus is getting the benefit of the massage. From here, I'll do the bendy knee, oh, and the straightening leg. Oh, I need to be in a little better position. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Here's the bendy knee and the straightening leg. Oh. Here's the bendy knee, whoa, and the straightening leg. And I am primarily on the outer thigh edge of the top thigh. Yeah, I have details. Details, people, details. Woo. Bendy, bendy knee, straighten, straighten leg. Bendy, bendy knee, and straighten leg. I cannot tolerate anymore. Ha! I'm coming forward to sit on my butt. So, hopefully that was of some benefit. The last exercise is seated and the foam roller is behind you. Go ahead and begin with your knees bent. We will eventually straighten the legs. In this exercise position, my fingers are backward pointing, but be careful. As you carefully, cautiously, and yet deliberately lean back, you should also exaggerate the chest expansion. So expand across the chest like you're a hood ornament on an expensive vehicle. Ooh, come forward, stretch the legs out and keep them heavy, long, anchored, boom, contracted. And a little bit more back, back. This might not feel so good at your neck and shoulders depending on if you're healthy there. If it's too uncomfortable, well, don't do it. I'm doing one more. I am rolling the roller cautiously, opening the chest, looking up toward the ceiling. And then come on back. I'm almost done. Coming back onto hands and knees, and we'll do thread the needle. Now, you just need to know I love thread the needle. I find the foam roller to be a little high, so that when I'm doing my thread the needle, it just feels really high. All right, here I go. Head down on the floor. Boom, shoulder almost on the floor. I am going to stretch my arm away, stretch my arm away. It's such a small movement, like I'm trying to roll the roller away from me. Push the roller, push the roller. Oh my God, it's crazy. Last one, hold the stretch, don't hold your breath. Oof. Wow, and then come on up. Perhaps it will be easier to see from this position. So I've got basically the back of my hand and I'm pushing the roller, my head lands on the floor. I want to push the roller away. So I'm using my free hand to maneuver the roller. Maneuver the roller, like you wanna push it away, like rolling it away. Oh. Two more here, oof, 
And last one. Oh. And when you come back, oh, the foam roller in front. Now, this is, there's a position for it in, in yoga, I forget the name. Knees wide. I am not going to sit down, but I am sinking my head. I think it's called puppy dog. All right, my hips are up. A tiny roll forward and back. This is a shoulder opener, but be careful not to break your Pinocchio nose on the mat. Ooh. Forward, forward. I think I have tight shoulders, so my face is not on the mat. Ooh. If you bring the roller closer to the forearms and less hands, I believe you, oh, you can still get range of motion, but your face is likely to be a tiny bit higher off of the mat. Oh. Oh. Last one, and come on back. I love the downward dog as a good finisher, so no foam roller necessary, and hands on the mat. Present yourself into your downward dog with special emphasis on leg number one. Choose your favorite leg and make it heavy, 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 heels driving toward the floor. Don't hold your breath. Switch leg, leg number two, your second favorite leg. Push down heavy. Now, if we alternate, this could be called tread or prance. Ooh. So here's leg number one. Oh, leg number two. Oh, leg number one. Last time, and then both legs with equal forces. Begin to feel as if you're pushing the floor away, as if you are pushing the floor away, with emphasis on lifting your tail up toward the ceiling. Shake out your head. Are we done with this class? Yes, yes, yes. Do you want any more? No, no, no. Ah! Catch your last breath, and then meet me on the floor. All right, have a seat. We're pretty silly today, huh? Have a seat, sit in a comfortable position where you feel like you are the Indian chief over your tribe. Sit tall and lower your arms. Feel the expansion of the chest. Feel the weight, the heaviness of the shoulders sinking down and away from your ears. Your head should float like it's filled with helium. <laughs> All right, just two breaths, please. Inhale, let it go. With arms, inhale, big exhale, Oof. and I applaud you. I thank you with much gratitude from the base of my heart, and I, I thank you for joining me. Thank you very much. That was my foam rollerama. I don't know what edition this is, like number eight or something. I'm also happy to announce that I was able to launch my YouTube channel, and there's about 10 videos available on my YouTube channel. As you know, as a fitness professional, I not only do foam rollerama, but I also have Pilates mat classes. There's a good step routine up there. If you have a step at home, you can do a step class with me. And also my dance classes, which are called Dance Sport Endurance. It's a ballroom-based dance class. I break it down, I keep it simple, it repeats, and every song is different. In the last class, we used a little Charlie Daniels. I had a little Eartha Kid. I had a really fun Barry Manilow. So if you like broad range of music and you like dance styles, come sample Dance Sport Endurance with me. Oh, my YouTube channel is called Fit With Viv. Fit With Viv. Fit With Viv. Hi, Sherry. So I thank you again, and um, I guess I'll see you tomorrow for Pilates Mat here on this Facebook page, 1230. That's my short and snappy 30 minutes. Ciao.